Big changes are coming to Microsoft Azure certification exams. And if you are planning to get certified, you will want to hear this. Prices are shifting. Some are going up, some are dropping, and others are staying the same. The changes will take effect in November 2024 to reflect current market conditions. So let's break down what is changing and how it might affect you. If you are new to Microsoft certification, you should know that they are divided in different tiers. Overall, we have 74 different certifications, which are divided into fundamentals, advanced, role-based, and specialty. The changes will take effect, but for the pricing, we have only two tiers, the fundamentals and the advanced role-based, which contains everything else. The changes to pricing will affect both tiers, depending on your country. First, let's talk about the good news. In some countries, the prices will actually go down. For example, if we are situated in France, the price for the fundamental certification will go down from the $99 to $84. That's for the fundamental exam. And on the flip side, many regions will see no changes at all, like India and the US. And same goes for me, I'm not affected at all as I'm situated in Czechia. So if you are based there, you don't need to worry about any increases. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any table comparing the current prices to the new ones based on the country. So you will have to go to this documentation, look at your country and find out yourself if the changes will affect you. That's why I will leave a link to this document where you can find all the new pricing based on your region. And also, don't forget, there are discounts available. If you are a student or working for a company that partners with Microsoft, you might qualify for special pricing. Something else you might take advantage of is that Microsoft will from time to time announce a cloud skill challenge. It's usually for 30 days. And if you complete this, you will get eligible voucher for 50% discounts on your certification. It's not for all the certification, they're usually promoting some specific exams. So in here we have, for example, security operation analysts or DevOps engineers. So you will have to see if the cloud scale challenge applies to the certification you want to take, but it's another useful source where you can discount the prices even further down. The only downside is that you need to redeem it in the specific time frame and you need to schedule your exam in specific time window. But I believe there was a workaround where you could schedule it and then reschedule it afterwards. So that was one way of going around it. I'm not sure if this is still working, but the discounts are still available even with this new model. Overall, I'm glad to see that Microsoft didn't decide to raise the prices for certifications because they totally could. I checked the exam prices for AWS in my region and in some cases they are three times more expensive than the Microsoft ones. So Microsoft Azure certifications remain relatively affordable, especially considering the value they offer. You can also extend them for free this means you can keep your credentials up to date with the latest technologies without paying for another full exam. It's a great way to stay current without spending more money. And if you want to learn cloud, Azure Fundamentals is a great place to start and it remains cheap. So I am very happy. But what about you? Was the pricing changed in your country? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, if you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips in the future. I'll see you in the next video.